Um, hi guys, um, I'm Alexis Giorgio, or people call me Alex for short because it's a lot easier to remember, and even though I don't look like a guy. But um, I'm going to be a sophomore uh, at, uh, at fall, during the fall, at Montclair State. And one thing that's very important to me is like my family. Um, as we said, as I said in the last class, I'm first generation here, meaning my mom was born in Cadden, Ireland, and she grew up there most of her life until she came over here with uh, her family after like it was like a pretty rough patch. And my dad was born in Cyprus, which is uh, an island in the Mediterranean, which is like off of Greece. So we kind of say we're we're from Greece, even though like. It's the same thing. Um, and one thing that was, um, one thing that's, <laughs> one thing that's unique about me is that I can speak Greek very well. And my dad th thought it was a good character, it's an important characteristic since um, I have many cousins overseas and they don't speak that much, that much English or that well. So he tried sending me to Greek school for seven years. It didn't really turn out pretty well. So he sent me to Cyprus for the summer to live with my cousins and aunts and uncles. And has any of you guys seen the movie My Big Fat Greek Wedding? Mm -hmm. And that scene where Tula tries to bring Ronnie and Harry to meet the family, just her parents, but then like it turned out to like this big party in the front of their lawn cooking lamb on on the on the spec. It's kind of like that. And um that really got me more familiar with the language, and it also helped that I now work at a Greek restaurant. I'm a hostess, so it's a lot easier for me to like learn the language since I have to force to learn it. Um, my the one funny thing about it is my father and I are the only two people in my family to that learn the language. So whenever we get into fights, it's legit like all hell broke loose. Like you know, when we're fighting, you stay away from us when we go all Greek. <laughs> Um, some, one of the things that was very, that I found really fascinating is when I was learning the language, I started learning more about the culture and where my dad was from and like the hard times that he's been through. So it kind of got me more interested in history and that's how like it connected, like I want, I knew for sure I wanted to teach history because of that. And just going, just going uh, to Cyprus and learning all the fascinating uh, ruins and buildings and temples and the stories behind it so it kind of like really connected well and it found out like what I really want to do in the future so thanks